Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncreate the Scorpion XO 18960. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and give you the full scoop on the brand new 18960 from Scorpion XO, do us both a favor, subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel, that way you don't miss out on any of the latest parts or gear coming your way. We're always getting first look, trying to get you the content right away on the latest gear. Subscribe and you won't miss out. Also, if you decide you'd like to purchase a Scorpion helmet from us here at Speed Addicts, we would appreciate that as well. We make it really easy. There's a link in the description below. They'll get you right over to the brand new 18960. You'll also be able to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. Okay, Scorpion XO is finally coming out with the replacement for the AT950. Here she is, this is the 960. Now the AT950 was one of their most popular and still is actually, I think. I don't know how long they're gonna run those. I mean, there's maybe just some leftover inventory or whatnot, but the AT950 has always been one of our top selling adventure helmets because not only is it an ADV helmet, but it's also a modular helmet. It has the flip up chin bar, right? So we have the same formula here with the 960. We just get some upgrades, but the key thing that to keep in mind and why the 18950 was so popular is because you're getting a lot for your money. You're getting a modular adventure helmet all for right under 300 bucks from Scorpion with a five year warranty. So the price has bumped up just a touch. You're talking about two, like about 10 bucks, five to $10, depending on if you're looking at solids or graphics, we're talking 279 to 309, depending on which 960 uh, you get. You can also get it with the comm system pre-installed, the Scorpion XO comm for about an, an extra 160 bucks. So it's gonna push you into that $400 price range. Uh, of course you can buy, and that's only in the matte black. You can always buy the XO comm separately and it is full a fully integrated option. More on the comm systems later. We'll get into that in a little bit. Let's get back to the helmet though. This is a polycarbonate shell that helps keep the price tag down. The weight is going to be right at about four pounds in a size large or a size medium. So talking right around four pounds. Now when it comes to modular helmets, they're never the lightest helmet, the mechanisms, and you also have the ADV visor that all adds weight. Again, polycarbonate as opposed to composites, just a little bit heavier. So four pounds, pretty average kind of, um, you know, run of the mill weight for a modular helmet. Nothing too crazy. It feels great on the head. It is actually the same weight as the 950. So there's no weight difference between these. DOT and ECE 2206. Now that is one of the key points on the 960. One of those things you're getting as an upgrade. Now, let me explain. ECE is the European safety homologation and they've recently moved from their 2205 standard to the new 2206 standard. What does that mean for you? Well, that means a safer helmet because the tests are much more thorough. Instead of one drop test, they're now doing four drop tests at different velocities, different angles, all to make a safer helmet. You're getting that new standard. You're gonna hear more about 2206 this year from a lot of different manufacturers. Scorpions, one of the first to the new standard here in the United States. So that is a great thing for you. Intermediate oval fit, fits true to size. You're getting three shell sizes, which is great. More sh shell sizes, the better. That way you're not wearing a helmet that's too bulky. Now, as far as available sizes, Scorpion's always good about making a nice range. They usually run up to three extra large, same here. So extra small all the way up to three X and go by that Scorpion sizing chart. You won't go wrong. If you have a 950, order the same size. It's gonna fit a lot like that. Now, when it comes to fit, we know you don't always get it right the first time. And that's why you really should be shopping for your helmets here at speedaddicts.com because we're gonna offer you no cost returns. That's right. We don't nickel and dime you like those other guys. A free return label is all yours. All you have to do is live in the lower 48 states and make sure the gear's brand new in the original packaging. And we'll make sure that you're dialed in. No hassle, no nickel and dime and give us a shot on your next helmet purchase and we'll treat you like family. Okay, let's check out this thing. I'm gonna set the 950 right next to her so you can see the, uh, the differences here. So first up, we have some design cues. Um, more modern kind of design here, swooping, like swoopy shapes on this chin bar vent instead of this kind of older school block style. And that carries around to the back. So they've kind of tightened things up back here. I like what they did. Instead of this uh, more pronounced diffuser in the back that hangs off here, this is all plastic. 
it's kind of prone to breaking if you smash that again, if you whack it against something. They've tucked this in, made it a little bit more uh, resistant to, to hits on the back. That's a nice thing as you're carrying the helmet around. The other thing you're gonna notice is that we have the comm system integration here. This is the Scorpion Exocom. On the 950, you didn't have the integrated comm. They did have the speaker pockets on both, but now you get this integrated option. So let's talk about the integration from Scorpion. Their kit is made by Uclear. Now, pros and cons here. With the, when it comes to integrated comms, I'm kind of torn, you know? It's nice to have the integration. It's totally uh, flush mounted here. Very easy install. You don't have a chunky unit hanging off the helmet. Now, on the other hand, if you already have a unit, you have a favorite brand you like to run, it does make the install a little bit more challenging because this is in the way, the door's in the way. They also move the slider from up here for the drop down integrated sun shield uh, down on this bottom edge. So it's getting a little cluttered down here to install your own unit, but don't worry, you can still do it. You either go above with an adhesive mount or if you're more partial to the clip style mount, you can run it on the right side. I know that's not quite as convenient because that is your throttle hand, but these are your options. Now, why do you wanna buy the Scorpion Exocom instead of running a different brand? Well, number one, the price. You're getting a mesh capable unit for the price of a lot of Bluetooth units. So 189 makes one yours. This is a great unit, awesome sound, you know, uh, killer call, call quality. We have really good reviews coming in on the Exocom. One of the other perks is that it doesn't have an external microphone. The microphone is built into the speakers and the quality is surprisingly good. You don't have to worry about a, fighting with a boom mic when you're opening and closing this because modular helmets, you gotta run that boom mic. You don't worry about that being in your face and you don't have to worry about installing it. So install is really fast and it's about $100, $100 less than a lot of the mesh units out on the market today. If you buy it with it pre-installed, that's only available in the matte black, instead of 189, you're gonna pay like around 160. So you can even save more money. So. Uh, a very cost-effective option to get into Bluetooth. Again, some people are not gonna love that it's not quite as easy to run their own Bluetooth, but these are the trade-offs. Check out the Exocom, also available at Speed Addicts. Okay, we covered the comm system. Oh, and the speaker pockets that we're gonna show you in a little bit, they are 50 millimeters. So this will fit even the largest speakers from other brands. They did that on purpose. You can accommodate even like a Pack Talk Black that's got, you know, 45 millimeter speakers. Okay, <clears throat> back to the helmet here. We have the very distinct, this looks just like the 950 uh, peak here. Now you'll notice this is a nice airfoil. There's no center contact point between the peak and the helmet here. That's gonna allow this thing to cut through the air better and it'll pull on your head less at highway speeds. If you don't wanna run it, you can spin these off. You don't even need a tool, you twist them off and you can remove the peak and put on the plates that they're gonna include. When the helmet comes to you from Speed Addicts, it will have the plates installed. This will be separate in the box and you can add it on. So you can run this like more of a modular, traditional modular helmet without that peak should you choose to. Now, let's talk about the ventilation here. We have lots of ventilation down in the chin bar. Again, that redesigned chin vent that looks pretty nice and a nice beefy switch, easy to work with a glove on, no problem there. Your uh, crown or ram air vent up here in the front has been redesigned too. This is a nice big scoop if you can see that underneath the peak. And again, easy paddle switch here up on top. No surprises on the back. Redesigned rear section, more modern design here. This is CAD design, really pretty looking helmet. And again, reduced fin so that you don't have to worry about breakage. This is a passive air vent. Nothing down low. I would have liked to see a little bit more ventilation down in the bottom. You have room for it. Uh, but this thing will allow that Venturi exhaust to get the air flowing. Now, if you're not getting enough air, remember this is a modular helmet. So you always have the option to kick this up, you know, between stoplights or at stoplights going through town at lower speeds. You can get some more air. If you want to run it while you're riding, I recommend using this lockout switch. So if you want to lock it in the upright position and you're going to be riding, you don't want it to accidentally come down when you hit a bump or something like that on the road, you're going to click that red switch forward and it will no longer re-engage the chin bar. So that's kind of a nice feature for those of you that want to kick around with the visor open. Okay, we have that integrated sun visor and the exterior face shield. Both are treated with their Everclear uh, face shield anti-fog. 
if you're in an area where fog is a real problem, you're gonna want to upgrade to the Pinlock Prepped Face Shield and that Pinlock lens. Those are sold separately. They're not gonna be able to include those at this price point, and I don't blame them. They're already killing it in the, in the price department. But if you're in the Pacific Northwest or somewhere where it gets cold and you get a lot of fog, get that Pinlock uh, Face Shield going, get the Pinlock insert, and then you really won't have any fog problems. Face Shield has a number of detents here. This is kind of a nice, uh, get a little extra breeze situation and you're moving up, you got about four positions on this visor, injection molded, sturdy, and you get visor pulls on both sides. You can get smoked and other options, so if you don't wanna run just the clear external, but this is what comes in the box. Now, the interior sunshade is smoked, and you, you work it over here on your left side, down low. No surprises there, lots of coverage, it comes down nice and low. Now, if you're actually gonna get off road with this, you can run goggles, so this is a huge eye port, one of the primary you know feedback that we got about the 950 is wow the the visibility is extreme great peripheries you know you're getting that kind of motocross opening here and you can run those goggles so you don't even have to take the face shield off you can throw the goggles on and get into some single track but if you do want to take the face shield off again no tools required you spin this off you can get rid of the face shield run the base plate or just the peak so lots of options when it comes to your configurations here Okay, let's flip over the 960 and show you what we're working with on the inside of the helmet. First off, how do you deploy that chin bar? Well, you press up on this button. Now that is one difference over the 950. The 950 you used to be able to pull kind of down and out, which is a more natural way to kind of pull on the chin bar instead of pushing it up and rocking it off your head. Just one little nitpick I had about this. Okay, so that's how the chin bar works. And then when you bring it back down, it's gonna lock into place. Very straightforward. Now, one big upgrade that I love about the 960 is this neck roll. So this is very similar to some of the neck rolls we're seeing on the most quiet helmets in the industry. This is gonna help isolate noise, keep it out of your ears. That is one uh, piece of feedback we got on the 950 is that some folks wished it was just a touch quieter. And that is the answer to the question here. Neck roll really is a really close fitting neck roll like this is going to help isolate that noise. You also have a chin curtain, which is gonna, it's a kind of a neoprene feel chin curtain. It's gonna cut down on the noise, keep the elements out of the helmet. Let's remove the quick wick, uh, 3D cheek pads and neck roll. This is all one piece. As I pull this out, you're going to see that. We got a couple of snaps inside and ooh, I forgot to do the chin, chin strap is gonna be double D chin strap. They've stuck with uh, the traditional D ring system as opposed to a quick release here. Let's get that out of the way first and this will come right off here. There's that last snap. Now the nice thing about this, whoop, this system is that the neck roll and the cheek pads are all one unit. Why is that cool? Well, when you set your helmet down on a rough surface over time, this is gonna get frayed and get chewed up. A couple years down the road, it might be rough. You might wanna refurbish that if you're wearing this a lot. And this way you get the neck roll with the cheek pads and all one piece, pretty affordable. You're gonna be able to totally refurbish the helmet, which is nice. Here's the cheek pads, very nice contour. These are gonna mold to your face pretty quick. I like to buy helmets a little on the snug side out of the box allow for about 10 to 15% break in over your first few months of riding. And that's my recommendation there. Okay. And again, quick wick, moisture wicking, antimicrobial cheek pads and headliner. Now with that out of the way, you will see those enormous 50 millimeter speaker pockets they are going to be ready to accommodate any unit, uh, including the Exocom, but any other unit you might want to put in there, you're going to be dialed in when it comes to the speaker pockets. Let's get the headliner out of the way. And we're gonna show you the EPS is channeled so the ventilation system can work nicely for you. Here, we'll pull that out of the way. Okay, here is your laser cut 3D headliner, comfort liner, no snaps in the front. Instead, they've gone with this brow uh, mounting bracket here. And then on the back, you do have two snaps down low. Some of it fits great. Again, true to size, shouldn't be no surprises in the fitment department. Now that is your EPS liner. Again, channel, it's gonna allow the airflow to get through the helmet onto your scalp and really do the work. Multi-density EPS, again, that is passing ECE 2205. So you're getting that modular adventure helmet with the drop-down visor. It is comm system ready, affordable price point, just south of $300 with a five-year warranty to protect your investment from Scorpion. A lot for the money here, for, folks. You're gonna be dialed in. You're gonna like this a lot, especially if you had a 950. 
or you're just looking for a lot of adventure helmet for the cash, it is the 960. Now, if there's a question I didn't answer about this helmet for you, don't worry, Rider Sport is always standing by at speedaddicts.com where you can talk to a human over the phone, live chat, or emails. We've already sold a bunch of these. If you've got one in your hands, let us know how you like it in the comment section below. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just, you know, up here doing my thing. Let's hear what the public has to say. Get your feedback in the comments. Appreciate you all for watching. See you next time to find out what's in the crate. Thank <laughs> you.